truck. Say hi, Jake. Hello. Material. All right. Oh no, yeah, it's greedy. Alright, bon, bon. Well, pull the oil pump. Right now, we're gonna try and rebuild the motor from the bottom and see if we can, if it's just a bad rod bearing, and see if we can do it with it right in the truck. the motor. Well, if it's rotated. Only, are you a V8? <laughs> At this point, I really like four bangers. <laughs> <laughs> Another uh, rod bearing cap off on the uh, bottom end rebuild attempt. with the engine in the truck and the, what, what's called an attempt. <laughs> see if she uh, lives. Oil looks like glitter, so let's see. It's from the truck.
So at this point, you're probably like, hey, Evan, where's the footage of the motor being pulled? Or why are you pulling it? Or something like that. Well, to answer that, first of all, we're pulling it because the crank is trashed. There's a huge gap between the two different rods in size. And what we thought we were going to do was just pull the crank or pull all the rod bearings out, replace them, even if the crank was a little tore up, whatever. The motor's got a lot of miles just to get Jake to school and work for the remainder of the year until summer and then really go through it. That's why we just got like the $40 bearing set from the auto parts store and we're going to slam that in there. But it's just too trashed. It would probably spin a bearing in another thousand miles after we did it. So that's why we pulled the motor and we got all the, we got the tranny out, the front was leaking with the transmission so we just pulled the whole thing out. That's why that's out. And then we decided, well, let's pull the motor and at this point it was 3 in the morning because we had started at 9.30. We loaded the truck onto a trailer at 9.30. That's why it's dark in the beginning of the video. And we, so we got to Jake's and then what happened was we decided to uh, trailer it to Jake's. It was about 10:15. We got on the lift and we just decided to go at it and see how much we could get done. And I had to work in the morning, so I left his house once we decided to pull the motor. But I pulled the tranny with him first, and we unhooked everything, we did the motor mounts. So he pulled the motor in the morning, and he was doing it by himself, so he couldn't really take any video or anything like that. So he just took a picture of it out and sent it to me. So really just stay tuned for updates on, on us rebuilding it and or finding a new one and putting it in there. Right now it looks like we might just buy a crank that's used but still good and one new rod and just put in the new bearings we had with that. And, and he's thinking about building a stroker or something for it in the summertime. But right now it's his daily driver to school and work. So. And if you want to get updates on this build along with a bunch of other builds that are coming up and projects, go ahead and subscribe. We've got BMW projects, the Turbo Miata project, GTO project, all kinds of different stuff coming up. So, also, 100 subscriber giveaway coming up. I'll put somewhere up in here a little bubble that'll pop up with a link to that video for the 100 subscriber giveaway. What it's going to be is an Amazon gift card and all you need to be is subscribe to my channel and you'll see the video come out once I get 100 and you'll comment on there and I'll put it into like a random generator and you can go from there with winning your prize so every so often I'll do those. So thank you, have a good day, don't forget to like the video and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.